Hello world, I'm Chris Perillo. Do not change the channel. This is Diana Perillo's channel. She's my wife. She's the pregnant one behind the camera's lens. See? I mean, I can't make that up. Well, we probably could, but we're not, we're not making it up. She's still very pregnant, but we wanted to better demonstrate this stroller that she chose because it is apparently the most ultimate stroller in the entire universe. And I say that because I, I just remember rusty rods for my stroller, and I, I survived. I didn't have anything like this. This thing is like it's big. Uh, <laughs> it, it, it it's uh, um, 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 sturdy. Uh, it is definitely neutral in color. I like the fact that it's black, and I think that's one of the reasons Diana chose it. But yeah. really, what was it about this stroller that stood out for you when you were looking for strollers and doing your research, honey? Well, I liked all the features it had, and it's compatible with our car seat, and it's very durable. That's right. You could probably throw that down a mountain, and I think it would survive. Well, we're not going to do that with a baby. Let's, <laughs> let's clarify that, because huh? I don't want anybody, you know, hey, uh, the pros are going to do something crazy with their baby. <laughs> you do not need this. So... It's got like, what is this, a 74 point harness, the most secure harness in the galaxy. I've ridden so many roller coasters and have had less protection <laughs> in my seat than this baby will have. Now the cool thing is, you can see as I'm rolling it around, you're thinking, well, that bar looks kind of short up here, but you can actually adjust the length of the bar with relative ease, <laughs> kind of popping. Well, I'm not going to do that with the baby in there. I'm just kind of, you know, running through this. It's kind of late at night and I have no sleep. Uh, but you can adjust the length of it, which is really, really convenient. Then, just in case you're worried about the baby uh, doing any kind of projectile vomiting, uh, you can project all that vomit onto you. Let's go ahead and put in the roll bar. It's not really a roll bar. It's just, this will make it easier. That Once I lift it out, with, look, look, look where my hands are. Watch this. Bam. I want to see the baby. I can. And look at that. All the projectile vomiting can come onto you or me or us together and then if we want to carry the baby say we're tired of the stroller look at that we got a bar look at that it's a bar we can lift the baby just <laughs> like that so that's not all imagine you are sitting there wondering how is chris going to get this back in just like so that's it was, it was easy uh we could uh i guess interoperate with our car seat so it's compatible with that another reason to have this particular stroller even though it's really large and I'm concerned that it's not going to fit well within the car, we'll see. It gets pretty compact, but it is durable, which is probably what you want a stroller to be. Uh, you can lock the wheels. You see that, that happened there. The wheels are locked. And you just lift up with a foot. You can lock either side. doesn't really matter. And you can see you've got some storage options down here, a nice little net that you can put uh, bottles and uh, maybe you've got a, you know, a, a toddler that you can put down there. Uh, I don't, I don't know. It's a, t I, I don't, I don't know what think so. The, okay, well, apparently no. it's not a toddler area. But let's say, just for argument's sake, that there are bugs. Do you, do yeah, you feel the bugs? mosquitoes <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> Spiders. Okay, I mean, that was that was too far. Okay. Your, your husband's an arachnophobe, and I think everybody knows that. You can cover <laughs> up the baby. I'm not going to snap everything in right now with a mosquito net. Yeah, you can even do that. Open it up. Right. Well, oh, well you, you close it up, really. You're not opening. <laughs> We're closing, hon. This is abierto cerrado. See, that's the Spanish. I'm trying to help Diana yeah. speak Spanish fluently, as does her family. So it's got a, a, a bug net, or whatever the hell they call it, not a drag net, a bug net to keep the bugs away, all those pests. Uh, and then it just stuffs back in here in a semi-convenient fashion. Faction? Fashion. We don't even have a faction. Uh, but let's just say, for argument's sake, you're out there, you're strolling along, and the baby, you, you cover up the baby because you're afraid, you know, you need the sun, or like you're walking around a moonlight stroll, walk on the beach, and you hear the baby, wah, 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 wah. you just open up the moonroof. <laughs> I don't think that's what it is. What else would it be? But... It's like a clear thing. They can, the baby can look up. I didn't have that. <laughs> I also didn't have something that will be incredibly convenient living in the Seattle area. Something that the baby will be able to look like the baby in a bubble. <laughs> so we can put this bubble over the husband or the baby. Now I don't keep the rain away or snow or any kind of element that might make the baby upset. I don't know exactly know how it goes on yet. But it includes a zipper, 
So that's always, I like zippers and some snaps. Every good rain shield needs zippers and snaps. And I know what you're thinking, you're thinking, Chris, this is Diana's channel. Why are you the one talking? Because she's pregnant. Yes. She's used all her energy to gestate. She's gestating for you. Not really, not, not for you. But she wanted to do this video for you. So uh, it, it, is, it is very, very uh, convenient in terms of features. Uh, it'll grow, not in, in size, but really grow with us because as the child gets bigger, we can accommodate the child in different fashions. I, and I don't even think I've covered every single feature of this particular stroller. Uh, there's another latch on the back to, uh, to better adjust. So see, it's more like a bed. So this is like first class. Yeah. In terms of a stroller, it's first class. You see oh. how I did that? So the, the baby can lean back and no, no, it's first class. <laughs> you got him riding in coach here. Him or her in coach. Uh, and by the way, did I say this is a moonroof, right? Yes. You almost wanted to call it a sunroof. And I was like, well, it could be a daughter roof. We don't want to like confuse people or anything. So yes, uh, the baby has a first class accommodations. Would you nice. like some beverage before we, we leave? You know, since you're like the center of our universe now. <laughs> so, well, let's set you up right there, and I'm going to go ahead and, and compact this, and I'm going to use that word. Let's go ahead and push this bar down, lock it in nice and secure. You push this button on this side, this little latch, and you pull up on either side, and just like so, you're ready to go. Wheel it away. I am here, and I want to thank you again for helping me. I am very pregnant. <sighs> so... Day by day, we're counting down. It could happen any time. She's a mommy. Uh, we'll be sure to put a link uh, for you in the video's description in case you're interested in the thing that just took out our nightstand. 